For over 60 years, he's been the ambassador of Cincinnati Reds baseball. That's it right there. <laughs> From the fresh-faced 15-year-old on the mound, to the radio booth above the field, to the statue in front of Great American Ballpark, Joe Nuxall transcended baseball to become one of the most beloved characters in Cincinnati history, and perhaps the biggest Reds fan ever. Reds are going to win. You know, they're, I, I tell you, I, you know, I'm, I, of course, I'm a, a, an eternal optimist. There's no question about that. I think they're going to win a pennant every year. In 1944, Joe signed with the Reds while he was still attending high school in Hamilton. He appeared in one game at the age of 15, making him the youngest player ever in Major League Baseball. The Reds commemorated that feat in 2004 with a 1944 style Nuxall bobblehead. And of course, Joe had a lot of fun with that. Joe, that looks just like you. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable, the likeness. Here. <laughs> Nuxall would make his way back to the Reds and the major leagues in 1952. He totaled 16 years in the majors, 15 of those he wore a Reds uniform. With his playing days over, Joe went straight to the radio booth in 1967. He would connect with Reds fans on a daily basis for the next 38 years. I mean, he got a whole bunch of that. That one lands in the second deck. His work with Marty Brenneman turned out to be a partnership that made the radio announcers more popular than the players. Everyone in Redsland loved Marty and Joe. Marty is not one that uh, uh, tries to take the whole show away and, uh, and vice versa. And I think uh, for that reason, people enjoy us more because we'll, we'll have fun up there. We like to, you know, kind of jab each other once in a while, just like uh, in a clubhouse. Since the 2004 season, Joe worked a limited schedule in the booth, but was still a fixture around Great American Ballpark. And he'll always be a fixture at Great American. Joe's statue is part of Crosley Terrace in front of the stadium. The dedication was in 2003. And you walk into Great American Ballpark, and that statue will be standing there, along with Ted Kluzewski, Ernie Lombardi, so with that, I thank you all very, very much. It's been a pleasure and an absolute honor. Thank you. This past September, Joe was a hit at Oktoberfest, leading the annual chicken dance. Joe leaves a legacy on several levels. His education fund, his love of people, his love for the Reds, and the folksy way good old Nuxy signed off each and every broadcast. It's been great, and so for the last time, this is the old lap tender, Roddy Third, and heading for home. Good afternoon, everyone.